Ever wonder about the rock-solid concrete that surrounds us? How it's manufactured and the extensive cradle-to-the-grave process? Well, Marshalls are here to give you a detailed insight. Whether you're our customer or a working employee, Marshalls works very hard to provide the highest quality goods and services. Marshalls was able to demonstrate the ability to supply the quantity and quality of products required for the construction of the London 2012 Olympics. We've delivered high quality goods and services nationwide for over 120 years now. So let's get started on the details, shall we? First, we need to require the right quantities of materials to make our products. These are delivered to dispensing hoppers for production departments. Production falls into three families of process, wet cast, wet press and semi-dry. The wet pressing process is used for creating paving, walling, curbs and some drainage products. Mixing or batching. Batching is the automatic weighing up of a variety of aggregates to an exact mix design so that approximately one tonne of the correct materials is supplied to the mixer. Wet concrete dispensed from a mixer directly to a holding hopper monitored by a probe, which maintains a supply of concrete once the material in the hopper is almost used up. The hopper with wet mix has an Archimedes screw arrangement which transfers concrete from the bottom of the hopper in the right amount to a second weighing small hopper. The screw and weighing equipment make sure that the correct amount of mix to fill a mould is in this small holding hopper. Wet pressing A. Sets within the tables are moulds to the shape of the product that we want to make. At the first station, the empty moulds are filled by the weighing hopper dispensing its contents. The table then rotates to the second station where a hydraulic press will enter the mould to compact the material and force much of the water out of the product. The water is captured and later reused. The press station has now formed the product to the shape that we want and the table rotates to its third station. Here, the moulds are emptied by an ejector, lifting the formed but fragile product out of the mould and above the surface of the press table. Ejection and handling. Product handling equipment will now pick up the formed product by vacuum and place it on a pallet. The process repeats until there is enough product to fill a pallet and a forklift truck will remove the pallet and place it in racking to allow the product to cure for up to 24 hours before it can be moved to the yard as stock or be involved in any secondary processes. Curing Chamber In some cases the product will be packed after curing and ready for customers stored in our stockyards but some cured products may go on to a secondary production process. Now, if we look back at the three main families of process, wet cast production follows a similar process to wet pressing, except that it does not require hydraulic pressing. How else does it differ? Dyes and additives can also be added to the mixture that allow for a range of bespoke and different coloured concrete products to be made. The purpose of the vibration is to evenly dispense the wet concrete and remove any trapped air within the products that may remain trapped as air pockets or bubbles. This is done through a fully automated process so we can ensure the quality and appearance of the final product. The filled moulds are generally gathered up into trays and stacks of product and taken away from the filling operation to allow curing. Semi-dry. Another process we have is the semi-dry process. Production on a block plant differs from pressing and wet cast in the nature of the mix. The concrete mix for this process does not resemble wet concrete in appearance, although the same aggregates, cement and water are involved in mixing. The dispensed material from the mixer remains granular with no apparent water holding the materials together, yet if the material is formed together by pressing, it will become a fragile but solid product. Material dispensed from a mixer feeds a secondary dispensing hopper. Block paving moulds are large moulds containing individual block moulds, rather like a large ice cube tray. The dispensing of the semi-dry mix requires vibration to allow the mix to fall evenly across the mould, as it will now flow like wet concrete would. The moulds filled from vibration are then hydraulically pressed to form the block shapes and ejected so that trays of form blocks can progress to be stacked up and allowed to cure. After curing, the trays of blocks are quality checked and formed into packs with layers of product ready for final packaging and storage in the stockyard ready for customers. Shot blasting is one of the secondary processes. Cured pressed units are fed to an enclosed chamber where small particles of steel are fired at the product as it progresses through the chamber. This abrasion creates a pitted, even texture to the surface of the product and the dust and fine steel from the process is extracted, leaving a finished product by the time the unit leaves the blasting chamber. Individual products can then be gathered on pallets and packaged ready for storage in our stockyard for customers. Polishing is another secondary process. Cured pressed units are fed to an enclosed chamber where motor-driven rotating abrasive discs remove the top surface of the product, exposing the aggregate constituents in a smooth ground finish, giving a polished appearance to the product. 
Water is used in the process to cool the equipment and clean the end product. The water used is captured and recycled. Finished units can then be gathered on pallets and packaged ready for stockyard and customers. Once the necessary strength and permeability conditions are met, the trays of blocks can be formed into packs. This can then move on ready for final packing and storage. Marshall's products are manufactured to the highest standards and quality assured before being taken to the stockyard and made available to customers. Marshall's is a brand that businesses can trust. Marshall's, creating better spaces.